What is up you guys, I hope you all doing well, I'm Tony Fuentes and welcome back to the Ed Like series. In this case we're going to edit like Valdez or Valentin Zienin, he's a Canadian travel photographer who takes a lot of photographs in tropical places but also in his home country. Now his style really resembles something like Jay Alvarez's style, so let's jump into his style in Instagram, let's analyze it, break it down and then we'll go to Instagram and create a preset and see how it applies or how it performs on different scenarios. So let's jump into it. So this is his profile on Instagram, Valdez for Valentin CNN. If you want to go support him, go ahead and follow him. You can also buy his lots and his presets on his shop. And immediately, what we can see is that his style is very contrasty, very harsh on the blacks, and also quite desaturated. Now, throughout his profile, there's a lot of styles and various scenarios where he takes photographs. So, there's a tendency to have high contrast in his images, but the style that we're going to analyze in particular is the most recurring style in his feed, which is the tropical island or the jungle like colors. Here, if we click on one, here we can see that the blacks are very crushed, the greens are completely desaturated and the skin tones are very yellow and orangey, like if it were a very tan color. If we keep scrolling down, that style or that preset is the one that he most uses. Again, here we can see that the highlights are very dimmed down. That's why we have so much information in the clouds, they're not blown out or anything like that. Blacks are completely crushed and that's done in the tone curve. And again, here we can see the before and the after to give us a hint on what we're going to do in the editing process. Now one thing that's very important is the skin tones in his style. They're a bit like Luis Class style, one that we did a couple of weeks back. I'll link it up here in the cards. And once again we keep scrolling down. This is his style. It has a bit of dehaze, a bit of clarity and a bit of shenanigans in the camera calibration. One thing that we can notice is that the oranges and the reds are basically the same just altered a little bit but they're not completely desaturated like the greens here we can see the oranges really stand out within the lush desaturated palm trees so this image basically represents the style that we're going to edit greens completely desaturated tending towards the emerald greens and the skin tones all the way up to the tan colors so this is his style it kind of reminds me of the black paris style where everything is desaturated but the skin tones but this one is applied to the lush forests and jungles in the tropical islands now there's a little variant here here we can see the same style but in contrast to that we can see that the blacks have this bluish tint that's down in the channels in the rgb tone curve so let's jump into lightroom and edit this guys so guys these are the photos that we're going to edit i tried to pick very vivid greens on these images and with the sunlight beaming down but we have some exceptions like these four which are shot on an overcast day. So let's start off by editing this one of myself, heading down to the develop tab. And remember, if you wanna skip this tutorial in general, I just want this preset that we're gonna create. I'm just gonna put it over here in my edit like preset pack, which is here. Here we can see the final results of the two that we're gonna make. So that's a way you can just skip all this that we're gonna do. But if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this type of color grading and to see how you can implement this to your preferred style, just stay along. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is pull down the highlights all the way to the minus 100 so we have a lot of information in the blown out skies. Then we're going to do the opposite with the shadows, pull them up to a plus 100. White also, we want them to be completely dimmed down, minus 100. I know this seems a bit extreme guys, but don't worry, um, we're going to compensate that in the tone curve. Now the blacks, we're going to crush them down to a minus 59 to crush them a bit. Here we can see that everything is a bit more contrasty like his style. And then we're going to jump into the presence tab now texture we're not going to move it we we are going to add some clarity with a plus 21 and then we're going to add some decays with a minus 14 and this basically adds this gloomy effect towards the highlights like if it was shot with a black pro mist or something like that and then we're going to desaturate a bit with the vibrance with a minus 13 and a minus 8 on the saturation now the differences between vibrance and saturation is that saturation basically alters every single color of your image, whether it be saturating it or desaturating it, while vibrance only alters the colors that are not the most predominant colors in your image. So for example, here, if we reduce the vibrance, we can see that some of the greens or the most colorful greens remain in the image. Whilst if we do the same with the saturation, everything is completely dimmed down. So minus 13 and minus eight once again. Then in the tone curve, what we want to do is add some contrast guys. So we're gonna put a point in the shadows Pull it down just below the diagonal then a point in the highlights and put it just above to make this hard contrasty look then the blacks we want to crush them up just a little bit fade them away not too much but something around there and then we're going to jump into the color grading part 
Now this part on the color grading is quite new. We can see that split toning has been replaced by color grading. And this is the same palettes that we have when we edit video. We have the midtones, we have the shadows and the highlights. Previously, we only had the shadows versus the highlights, guys. But first of all, in HSL. Now, the first thing that we want to do is desaturate everything, guys. We're gonna go with a minus 21 on the reds, minus 25 on the oranges, minus 62 on the yellows, which will control most parts of the greens. And then the greens all the way down to the minus 100 that would give us that saturated, desaturated effect on the greens. Then aquas and blues, we're gonna go with a minus 26 on both of them. And these basically will affect the saturation on the sky. Now in luminance, the only thing that we're gonna do is pump up the oranges just a bit to make the skin tones pop just a little bit more with a plus 10. And then we're gonna go with a negative 22 and 25 to the blues and the aquas again. This is towards the skies and the color that we're going to achieve in the skies when we have a bright sunny day. Then in hue, what we're going to do is alter the yellows to a plus 27, heading towards the more greenish tones. And then the greens, basically we're going to alter them to a plus 36, tending towards that emerald color for the greens in general. Aquas to a plus 25, towards a more dark bluish tones and also with a plus five to the blues. We don't want any aqua-like skies or anything like that. We want them to be deep blue and quite darkened. So that's it for HSL. Still, we're gonna add a little bit of highlights. In the highlights, we're just gonna add a little bit of orangey tone. That's for the skin tones in general. Not too much, guys, just a little bit. Just like that, you can copy it. And then we're gonna go all the way down to the effects. And in effects, we're just gonna add a plus 25 on the grain to make it a bit subtle. Here we can see it if we zoom in. It's quite subtle, but it just adds a little bit of texture to the image. And then in camera calibration, we're gonna add those rich skin tones or orangey-like skin tones to make the subject look very tan. For the red primary, we can see that if we move to the left, the skin tones tend towards the bluish tones or the purplish, to the right, towards the oranges. So we're gonna go with a plus 20 on the hue and a plus 21 on the saturation, tending towards that orangey tones. And then the green primary, again, we move it to one side, it really affects the skin tones to the other, makes them a bit more orangey. Go with a plus 100 and on the saturation with a minus 28. And then the blue will basically alter the bluish tones in my pants, for example, in my trousers. And also in the sky, we're going to go with a minus 21 and a minus 18 on the saturation. Now the preset is almost finished. Now we're just going to add a little bit more temperature to make those skin tones really pop up. Just a little bit, not too much because we don't want the whole image to be completely um, warm. We just want it to pull it up just a little bit just to affect the skin tones. Just like that guys, just pull up the exposure just a little bit for this image. And this is the preset in general. This is the V1, we're just going to add a little variant in a little while. But first we're going to save it, we're going to go to the right, hit on presets in this plus sign, create a preset. And we're going to check mark everything that we want to pass on to the next images in this case i am going to check my white balancing but exposure and contrast will depend on each image and then we want to create a variant the one that had the bluish tones in the blacks which is going to go to the tone curve hit the blue channel create a point in the midtones and pull up the blacks just a little bit just like that guys and now we can see that the blacks have this bluish tone added to them guys create another preset and this one's going to be Valdez blue just like that guys we created another preset so let's see how it performs on other images guys so here we have a portrait of my friend kevin just pretending to be a cameraman just for the sake of the shot <laughs> let's apply the preset here we can see that i've already added into the edit like preset pack so the first one it looks quite good guys awesome skin tones the skin tones are very orangey just what we expected and the greens are completely desaturated just like we wanted maybe in this case just pull up the temperature just a little bit more to make those skin tones a bit more rich now let's see what the other one looks like. The bluish tones, here we can see it. It's a little variant, it looks good as well. Then we have this one. Here we have the blown out sky. Let's see how it performs. Apply the first one. Here we can see how the sky has a lot more information because we dimmed down the highlights. Next, we have this one of Danny in a very warm day. Let's apply the preset. Pump up the exposure, just correct it just a little bit. It's looking awesome, guys. I love how, this, how the greens are completely desaturated and really contrast with the warmish skin tones or very tan skin tones that we achieved. This, is, this one is the, of the same day. Let's apply it, bump up the exposure. It's looking awesome, guys. Those greens are very nice and the skin tones are quite nice as well. Let's see how the other one performs. And again, it's a little variant. It's quite nice as well, but I think I do prefer the first one. 
and finally we have these others let's see how it performs in an overcast day not so much sun so let's see the first one yeah it looks awesome guys just pull up the exposure just a little bit looks awesome also in overcast photographs let's see the blue one again quite nice a bit more cold and that's basically it guys so that's Valentin Sien in style guys I've already added these two presets that we just created into the Edlag preset pack if you want to go check it out it's linked down below where we have plus 14 presets of famous artists and photographers throughout social media so guys remember that in the comment sections down below you can type in any profile that you want me to analyze and I'll give it a go anyway guys if you did like the video can you please give it a like it really makes a difference and remember you can share this video please share it if you can to anyone who's interested in color grading it really helps me out anyway guys subscribe all those things hope you're doing well staying safe i'm tony fuentes cheers to all of you and see you in the next one